What's going on everybody? Caleb here with a pretty unique video. I get to tear apart this brand new phone. At least that is the plan. I've never actually done a phone tear down or opened up a phone before, but I've watched enough Jerry Rig Everything videos to feel pretty confident and I bought a special tool. So what could go wrong? So the goal is not just to tear this phone apart, but it's really to take a look at the whole imaging system and see and explain hopefully how it all works. Xiaomi was kind enough to send over their brand new 12T Pro and sponsor this video. I do feel a little bit bad for potentially making this not work, but in the name of content, I will rise to the occasion. Let's do it. But before we do the actual teardown, I wanted to come out here, shoot some photos on this thing, see how it actually looks, this 200 megapixel imaging system. I mean, the goal is definitely to take the phone apart, put it back together, and hope that it functions again, but there's a high likelihood it might not work. So out here now, a couple days before, let's shoot some images. So probably like many of you watching this video, I've always been fascinated by cameras and how they work. I think that's part of the reason why I like shooting film photos so much and just using analog cameras. They're all so different in their own way and figuring that out is kind of half the fun. This is my very last pack of film that is completely expired. Pack film, Polaroid, land camera, 2007. <laughs> yeah, it's like a really, really slow shutter speed. So. Hope this works. There might actually be, oh, oh, we got a picture. We got a picture. All sorts of messed up, but it worked. No way. All right, so basically all these cameras are so different, but they all do a similar, well, they all do the same thing. They freeze a moment in time. Currently it is. For that, you'll need to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Essentially cameras capture light to a sensor or to a film strip. So think of your camera as a sealed box. The lens, light comes through the lens. There's various ways to control the amount of light and where it's directed. Aperture, you have shutter speed. And then in that split second, when you decide exposure, lets the light onto the film strip or onto the sensor. I'm kind of doing my best to explain it here, but essentially a digital sensor is made up of millions of pixels. And in the 12T's case, it has 200 megapixels, which is 200 million pixels. So. If your camera has 12 megapixels, that's 12 million pixels. So on a film strip, there is light sensitive chemicals and on a digital sensor, there is light sensitive pixels. Essentially a digital sensor is kind of like a digital film strip where those light sensitive particles on the film strip get developed and they turn into the image based on how much light and contrast and everything was in that picture. Same thing with digital, the light kind of transfers into energy from those pixels and it tells the computer how intense it is, how much color between all the RGB pixels, and it basically tells the computer how to interpret the image. So that is kind of how cameras work at a really rough level. And some of that is what we are gonna be looking at when we open this up tomorrow in the studio. So let's head there now in video time and see if we can open this up. Oh wait, <laughs> I need to turn the phone off. Ooh, a 
Okay, I think I think I'm doing this right. Why does this feel so wrong? Oh, it melted the mat. <laughs> I think we're getting somewhere. All right, here we go. The reveal of the inside. My first ever. Whoa. Look at that. So here's the first look at the camera module. Pretty rad. You can see the main camera with optical image stabilization right there. We got the ultra wide right here and the macro. This large camera on the 12T Pro is kind of the whole reason why I'm stoked on it, to be honest. It has a 1 over 1.22 inch sensor, which is large, and it has a ton of depth of field when you're actually shooting with it, and it has a 200 megapixel sensor behind that, which is crazy. Oh my God, those are screws. Okay, we learned something here. There are these, uh, this, okay, now on the bottom, this makes sense. This orange dot, it's just kind of covered with a sticker probably to like show if it's been repaired or not. It just has like a, okay. That makes a lot of sense. I'm back, I'm back now, I'm back. Here we go. This is awesome. Look at this now, okay. Feeling more confident. We got that bottom section off, no problem. We got the top section off, no problem. We've exposed the entire motherboard, I think. This is the motherboard. Whoa. go. Actually, let's just leave that in. <laughs> that is really cool looking though. This is literally the ultra wide camera right here. Pretty cool to see it up close like that. I mean, oh, exposed. Front camera. The big thing I'm taking away from all of this, two things. A, shout out to all the people who do phone teardown videos. It's a little harder than it looks. And B, phone companies like Xiaomi, just the amount of technology that you can pack into this thing in sm such a small form factor, I feel like I'm gonna take phones for granted a lot less. Got it. Yo, that is a lens, my friends. All right, so I think that's gonna be our stopping point for the actual teardown. Clearly there's more you could keep tearing down, but I just wanted to get to the camera module and system and kind of see how it all works. So. Pretty rad, honestly, super impressed with how much they can stuff into this phone and the quality you can get from it. So let's put it back together now and see if we can get it to work. Wish me luck. Oh, I think I might have broke this wire. Dang. All right, and there we are. The back plate is put back on. I think 
it's all put together. It feels tight. Let's see if it turns back on. I did crack a little ribbon that was on the bottom part when I forcefully broke that little piece of plastic. I mean, come on, baby. Come on. <laughs> All right, so luckily Xiaomi thought of this and sent me another 12T Pro so that I can keep shooting on it a little bit more because chances of me, I don't know, not putting back together right were high given it was my first time. So thank you Xiaomi for sending over another one. This was a really fun experience. I did have high hopes I could put it all back together because that was pretty basic, I'm not gonna lie. I just clearly blew it and didn't know what that screw was. I've been shooting with phones for six, seven years now working at Moment and I've never been able to look inside of it and see how it works with a ton tons of different phones and phone brands but it was really cool that they were down with me taking one apart and getting a look and kind of showing off their insane new 200 megapixel imaging system so Xiaomi thanks for sponsoring this video like and comment on it if uh, you want me to try again because I'll try again for the content all right everybody peace honestly can't believe I broke it <laughs>